Hey, what's up team? This is Eddie Gray with The Modern Creative and today is the release of Logic Pro 11 and I wanted to go ahead and test out the stem extraction system. I want to know how it fares with other competitors such as Isotope, Ripex. So if you're interested, go ahead and stay tuned. Hit the music. Logic Pro 11 is out, coming out with a bang. We're gonna go ahead and try out the stem splitter. We're gonna compare it to Ripex, Isotope, and Lalal.ai, but first, where do I find it? Here's a song that I recently finished for a client. I'm gonna control click on the region, go into processing, and access the stem splitter. Absolutely incredible. Here it is, we can separate vocals, drums, bass, and other instruments. I do hope this expands over time. That would be amazing. Um, let's go ahead and split. So this is kind of cool. It looks like it nested everything inside of a track stack. Interesting. Uh, here's the original. Let's check this out. Okay, now let's move over to the extracted stems. Sound pretty good here. Now I don't have vocals in this song, but if we listen to the drums, let's see if we hear any audio artifacts. So I would say, I've tried a lot of these services. This is pretty spot on. There is a little bit of noise, but as to be expected, this technology is getting better and better every day. Let's listen to the bass. And finally, the miscellaneous category, everything else, right? Here we go. All right, so I would say that's definitely a W in the books. The fact that we have this technology within the DAW, this upgrade is free. You don't necessarily have to pay an additional $200 for the software. It's not subscription-based, at least if you're not within the Logic Pro for iPad ecosystem. But now let's go on to comparing. I, I really want to hear what uh, Rip X stems sound like as opposed to the logic extracted stems. So let me go ahead and hide these two here. And here we have a song again, just finished for a client. Let's check it out. All right, so that's the original there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it outside of the track stack. And I took Rip X, went ahead and extracted everything. And here's what we got. All right, so let's make a comparison between Ripex and the original. Yeah, I'd say that's apples to apples. So again, we're gonna control click here, head over to stem splitter. There are no vocals, so let me go ahead and spare me that process and let's split. This happens pretty fast, so that is kind of amazing. And so let me just go ahead and delineate that this is the Logic Pro stem splitter. And let's compare. Okay, let's go into the individual stems. Here are the drums from Logic Pro's new stem splitter. Okay, finally, let's get the, I guess what would be considered the miscellaneous or other category, which is everything but the rhythm section. Here we go.
Okay, here we go. Okay, this is from RibX. Look, the fact that we're even having this conversation is quite insane. Living at a time now where this technology is freely available and it sounds really, 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 really good. I'm absolutely blown away. All right, let's go ahead and shift over to Isotope Music Rebalance. And here's the song, the original. Right. Here is the stem separation according to Isotope. So obviously it sounds very good. Let's go ahead and get this out of the group. Stem splitter. No vocals. All right. And for those of you interested in vocals, I do have the next session, which will have some vocals. So let's see here. We got Logic Pro on top, Isotope in the bottom. Let's take a listen. Yeah, it sounds pretty much identical to my ears. Uh, let's isolate the drums here. Okay, isotope. Yep, here I'll do the bass and other instruments. All right, so here's Logic. Sounding pretty good as a whole. Again, apples to apples. The fact that we don't necessarily have to pay for additional services. This Logic Pro update is quite incredible. Shout out to all the developers, Logic Pro 11. This is um, absolutely nuts. Thank you so much. Um, here, we're gonna check out one last song here. So this one does actually have vocals. I think this is very important for most people. So. Here's a artist I work with. His name is Todd Murray, uh, otherwise known as Sincerely Iris, and he's got some phenomenal music. Let's go ahead and check it out here. Um, there's a storm inside. All right, so that has a lot of reverb. Here is Lalal.ai attempting to capture the vocal in its pure form. Here we go. Cleaning circles in the window. There's a storm inside. Okay, the instrumental sounds pretty good. So let me go ahead and hide this track here and let's listen to Logic Pro's Stem Splitter. There's a storm inside. Hurricane. Yeah, that's certainly just as good. There's a storm inside. Yeah, beautiful capture of the reverb tail as well. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the instrumental. Here we go. Hmm, I'd say it did a better job of not capturing the vocal, but there are some audio artifacts that weren't present for Lalal. So whatever they're using, there's a little bit of a compromise there, but all in all, what an unbelievable feature. The fact that we could take existing content, for example, something in the loop browser, let me just go ahead and take this little jingle here. And uh, if you've never heard this one, it goes like this. All right, if we run that through stem splitter, maybe all you need is just some drums. All right, we'll just take the drums here and just like that, got some jazz drums for your song.
Hope you guys are liking the update. If there's any features that you know about that you are absolutely digging, please let me know in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. I got more content coming soon. Stay up, stay happy, stay focused on what you want. Cheers.